Okay, amazing. So I'm delighted to be joined by Olivia and Lily from Kellett School in Hong Kong and their project Love 21. Um, girls, thank you so much for being here. It's a shame you can't be live with us, but I know the time zone would have meant it would have been, I think, 2 a.m. or something like that. So can you just start with um, saying why did you two work together and why was it this? What is your project about to people that might not know? Uh, so we chose to work together because, I mean, we're friends and we're in the same house. So we had to like, well, no, you don't have to in the same house, but we like each other and we're friends. So we did it. And basically our project is about spreading awareness about those who have disabilities and like the experiences they go through, like positive or negative, mainly in our video negative and just about their perspective about all of this. Yeah, and we also include how like their perspective of life and how they experience what they go through because I mean, even though we can like kind of like imagine what they go through, but like, they won't be the same. Yeah, and they might experience totally different things. And we just wanted to just let the people know how their life goes and how we can do to support them and like make a better community for them. Amazing. It's, it's exactly um, what we talk about Empathy Week, which is empathy in action um, and going beyond just, you know, empathising yourself, realising that maybe you, you don't fully understand what someone else is going through. And so going out there, asking people and, and helping to spread awareness, which is what your video and your project is so good at doing. Can you tell me a bit more about Love 21? as Because they're an organisation in Hong Kong, is that correct? Um, yeah, it's a organisation in Hong Kong that supports the um, autism and Down syndrome community and it organizes it it has volunteers who organizes activities and they took part in lots of sports events and they go to schools around like around Hong Kong and kind of just bring the community community together and give them an opportunity as a platform to like connect and make them feel like there's people supporting them and they're being respected by the community. Yeah, they do. They do lots of programs as well about like nutrition or just to help them with basic needs as well. Because some people, some of the members of the community can struggle with that, so they assist them with like learning those tasks. And then, yeah, amazing, amazing. We're gonna watch um two minutes of your of your video now, so that people can get a sense of what what you've been doing and and what Love Twenty One is as well. So, bear with me a second whilst I just quickly share. 都是那幾件事情 放工回來,還要做事 他說他其實都是說很簡單的詞語 um, so my question was going to be, obviously, uh, when ha Hayes' dad is went through a lot of change, um, as we saw there. And I wanted to ask you what sort of changes you went through during this project, you know, whether that was your thoughts before about disability, particularly autism, as, as we saw there, 
and, and what maybe changed in your own thinking after doing this project? Uh, so I actually have a member of my family who is autistic. So I kind of wanted to have this project was because I also wanted to kind of see more of his perspective. But it kind of made me realize what he goes through about people not realizing that they they can actually hear all this or that it's just they don't know how to communicate it. So I think it just made me realize how much like pain they almost have to go through. Like they can't communicate what they want to, but they're almost like trapped inside of this. So I just, yeah. And um, so I've actually seen a video of this girl who has um, visual impairment and then he, she goes on to the streets and just see how the public reacts to her or like um, whether they give her assistance when she needs it. And the video was quite positive. So I just wanted to explore about, is this the case in our local community in Hong Kong? And after that video, I feel like um, how people treat people with autism or Down syndrome has really improved during these past years. But I just feel like there might be the need for us to kind of have more charity organizations or platforms for them just to communicate and just to give them opportunities to talk to members on the society and just to make them feel like they're respected because they're actually not any different from the rest of us and they should be respected. Couldn't have said it better myself. That's amazing. Exactly that. And and we will always need to empathize more, right? Because we're changing as we get older, we change and our our lives change. And so it's this constant kind of trying to understand and, and work together is is lovely. And it's such an amazing um project. Your film will be um on our website somewhere for people to watch um in, in due time. And yes, I just want to say thank you so much for doing this. Last question, what's next? Are you going to try and um, build on this or is there any plans for anything in the future? Mm, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, I think what we'll do is we will give the video to Love21 because, I mean, obviously they have a more like wider audience and, I mean, giving the vi video to them can allow them to post them on their social media and etc. to make people aware of this organization and just to have more volunteers to support the child or like the community that Love21 is currently fostering. And I feel like it just... I think we're our project is about like local level and we didn't really like kind of think about how we can improve it further but I mean um we just kind of wanted to make sure that our local community is supportive and is like a comfortable environment for people yeah and if we wanted to as well we can make that decision in the future we could also upload it onto other platforms around ourselves so I'm not sure but maybe for YouTube for example if we feel that we have the need to share it on just even if it doesn't get you know that much attention just that someone will know that they're just like us like there's no difference it's just they have this thing that's keeping hold of them like uh <clears throat> like, holding them back yeah 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 we're, we're all different and we actually all have different needs don't we whether we're able or disabled so that's a lovely way to put it girls thank you so much um for being here and thank you for sharing your time and um yeah we hope to see you do many more projects in the future thank you, thank you.